All right, keep it. Great, great rotation on the legs and the toes on the ground. Great, good job. Make sure those hands are up. Great, good job. Excellent, Mark. Excellent job. One more kick. Great. Hey, Mark, do me a favor. Will you take over the class for a minute? Hi, Mom. Sherry, what are you doing here in the middle of the day? I just wanted to let you know that I'm going camping over the weekend with Brian. Camping, huh? Is that what they call it now? Mom. Okay, okay, give me the details. Well, there really isn't any. All I know is that we're going camping somewhere up north where Brian used to go with his grandfather. And you guys have all the proper equipment you need? I'm sure Brian does. Mom, he's been camping his whole life. All of his life? What is he? 22? No, he's almost 24. Oh, well, that makes a difference. <laughs> Mom, you do remember that I'm all grown up, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what you keep telling me anyway. Okay, just be careful and make sure you call me when you get there. Okay, I will. I'll see you Sunday. Okay, let me hear you say it first. Come on, Mom, it's silly. What? Just, just say it. For me. <sighs> Ippity. Identify, predict, decide, execute. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember that little saying right there, mate. Save my life? Yes, I know. You've been telling me that ever since I can remember. I'm just looking out for my baby girl. I know, I know. Okay, I'll see you Sunday. Okay. okay. Have fun. Thanks. Okay. Too sure, but I don't think it's too far. You don't know? But you said that you'd been camping there before. Yeah, when I was a little kid, like a million years ago. Well, I'm gonna need to pee pretty soon. Yeah, just do that on the side of the road. Brian, do I look like the kind of girl who's gonna pee on the side of the road? Well, do I? Do I? No. No. So you're gonna need to find a place to pull over soon. Okay. Okay, sure. Hello? Hello? Darn it, no service out here. That's the idea, girl. Come out to the country, get away from everything. Yeah, but I told my mom that I would call her and let her know where we are. Well, we're gonna stop soon so you can use the bathroom. Just call it from there. I suppose so. Folks. Yeah, do you have a bathroom I can use? Sure, we've got a bathroom for customers. Oh, ah, okay. Um, I'll have a cheeseburger and do anything, Sherry? Ah, uh, just a drink. Cheeseburger and two cokes to go. Come right up. Bathroom's right back there. Say anything about a cabin. This is a tent and sleeping bags, baby. Camping, you know? Yeah, but it's it's gonna rain. Well, 
the drizzle be gone in a minute. Great. Uh, so what did your mom have to say when you called? Uh, nothing much. She just wants to know where we are. She keeps pretty close tabs on you, huh? All the time. So, do you want to stay here and help me set up camp? Or would you rather take a walk down to the lake while I do it? I'm gonna take the lake. Yeah, I figured yeah. as much. <laughs> Alright, you go on ahead. It's right down that path around there. Okay. I'm gonna stay here and build our first house. Oh, my first house. Wow. You watch out for those Bigfoots, man. Ha ha. Uh huh. later, that is if it stops raining. Sounds good to me, honey. What the hell is going on? Who are you people? You're not in a position to be asking us questions, honey. Oh, I'd have to agree with that. What did you do to him? What do you want? Man told you to stop asking so many questions. Looks like baby girl needs a spanking. I'm a black belt. You come any closer and I'll kick your ass. Move. <laughs> he looks like a tough one. Looks like <laughs> we got a fussy one right here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> yes, it will. Who are you people and what do you want? There she goes asking all those questions. She needs to be taught a lesson. You know who we are now, don't you, little girl? You people are sick! You're crazy and you're sick! Boozer, get in the car. The rest of you weigh the body down, dump in the lake. Come on, people. You had the man? Let's get it done. Listen, listen, listen. Relax. We got a little time to get to know each other. Me and you. You know. Before they get done. What do you say? It's like we got a runner. This might be a better day than we thought.
Well, well, well. It's like a moth caught the fly. Looks more like a butterfly to me. <laughs> that hurt. I think it's broken. It. That's a damn shame. Who the hell's setting bear traps out here? Ain't even hunting season? Uh, some people have no respect for the law. Damn sure don't. Yeah, look what they gone and did. They'll spoil all our damn fun now. Maybe. Maybe not. Hey! Ah. Suppose your father will probably come looking for you, right? My father's dead, but my mother will come and can promise you that. She as cute and spunky as you? She'll kill all of you, every one of you. Sounds like fun. This could work out just fine. What are you people talking about? You better keep your mouth shut, little girl. Or you'll be joining your boyfriend real quick. You got it? Kiss my ass, bitch! If her mother's anything like her, could be our best one ever. Don't make me McLean. He's got a point. Hey, when he's right, he's right. I'm always right. That's what they pay me for. You better be right. You two get her out of that thing. Take her back to the car. Go. Come on, darling. <laughs> talking about Call your wife, Joe. Hey, I'm just looking. You have a good day. You too. Sheriff, I was just... I'm sorry, dear. He's not here. Yes, I can see that. Do you know where he is? I think he went down by the lake to take care of something or other. Don't ask me. He didn't tell me what he's doing. You know how he is. Yes, I do. When he comes in, I'll let him know you were looking for him. Thanks, Dorothy. See you later. You be safe out there, Deputy. Oh, you know I always am.
getting a little slow, Mr. Mayor. <sighs> yes, perhaps I am. But you, and that thing you do, oh, you will never know how much it turns me on. You always know the perfect thing to say, Jason. <laughs> ah, yes, well, I am the mayor. I see. Hmm. Serving all the people, that sort of thing. Oh, yes, you could say that. I do say. So, what about serving me? Right here? Right now? Oh, there is nothing that I would like better. But first, I have something for you. For me? Uh -huh. When I saw this, I knew you would have to have it. Jason, this is... It's Spanish is... made. Late 19th century. Do you... Do you love it? I love it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't wait to try it out. Well, I'm sure you will. Sooner or later. Later would not be a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> You know that I can't control everything. You are the mayor. Yes, and you know I will do my best, don't you? Of course you will. Yes, Lake Forest Police Department. Yes, I'd like to file a missing persons report, please. Yes, thank you. Hey, you butterfly. I brought you something to eat. Got a hamburger, fries, and a Coke. I'm a vegetarian. I don't eat meat. You don't eat meat? Well, what do you eat? Because I got something else in mind, if you know what I mean. You're a sick bastard, you know that? <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. You're just going to sit there and watch me eat? I might. Can I ask you something? You can ask me anything you want. Doesn't mean I'm going to answer you. Why are you people doing this? Doesn't really matter. It does to me. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would. I was in your army for a lot of years. Special Ops. You know what that means? Means we went all around the world doing things nobody likes to talk about. Killing people mostly. That's what they trained us to do. And then one day, just like that, they say it's over. Go home. Act normal. Really? I wonder what they thought guys like us were gonna do. Anyway, I never gave a damn about normal. So that's why you're doing this? Hell, I don't know. Sounds good, though, doesn't it? Eat your food. You're gonna need your strength. Can't you save me? Now, why would I do that? To 
be a good guy, to be a decent person. I'm sure you were one once. Butterfly, I passed good a long time ago, and decent will. You know I never really cared for that either. I eat your food. Please. Please. Eat. Please. I'm looking for a deputy Goodrich. My name is Victoria DeVries. Down the hall around the corner. Thank you. Yep. Deputy Goodrich? Yes, and you are? Victoria DeVries. We spoke on the phone about a half hour ago. Yes, of course. Please come in and have a seat. This was about your daughter, right? Yes, uh, my daughter and her boyfriend. They came up here to go camping and now they're missing. Hmm. Well, can you be certain they didn't just use camping as an excuse to go off someplace else and be alone? I've considered it, but I don't believe my daughter would do that. Nobody does, right? This is my daughter's phone. I found it in the woods just outside of town. I see. I also found blood next to it. Blood? Well, that's odd. Well, I checked after you called. There have been no reports of an accident or anything like that. Well, maybe what happened wasn't an accident. What do you mean? I don't know. That's why I'm here. Uh, this is the make and model of the boyfriend's vehicle. Maybe if we can find it, we could find them. That's probably true. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, why don't you go down to the clinic, meet with Dr. Tracy Lind. If anybody got hurt around here and needed help, she would certainly know about it. Where can I find this doctor? Less than a mile down the road at the clinic. I'll run a check on this to see what I can come up with. Thank you very much, Deputy. I appreciate any help you can offer. We'll do our best. description come on over the last 24 hours. Yes, but I did find that blood, so she and her boyfriend could still show up here. True, but finding blood in the woods could be from any sort of animal. Well, I realize that, Dr. Lynn, but my instincts tell me something different. Would you please call me if somebody does? It's my cell phone number on there. Yes, of course. You say you've already tried the sheriff's office? Yeah, I met with Deputy Goodrich, and while she seemed very concerned, I really don't think she'll do anything. Well, she's definitely one of the good ones. As opposed to? I really shouldn't be saying this, but I wouldn't trust our sheriff any further than I could throw him. 
Why do you say that? My husband and I moved here almost four years ago from Atlanta. We were going to live the dream, you know, small town doctors and all that. Well, he went out hunting one day, and he never came back. And our sheriff did nothing at all. He just brushed it off as a husband running out on his wife. And you know better. Yes, I do. We were happy. And I know, I can feel it in my bones. There was some sort of foul play, but I can never come up with any sort of proof. And you're sharing this with me, why? Because there is something going on in this town. Something very bad. And you really believe that, don't you? I know it. And you think that if I find out what happened to my daughter, You'll know what happened to your husband. I'm certain of it. Okay. Thank you for being so frank with me, Doctor, and I really appreciate it. It's not a problem. Be sure to call me if something comes up. Don't worry. I won't forget. Thanks again. body of a young man? Okay, bring him in. I'll get prepped. Listen, um, by any chance, have you seen this girl in here the last few days? Nope, ain't seen her. Mind if I ask around? It's a free country lady. Hey, good looking. Hey, I'm talking to you. Leave her alone, Red. Shut your mouth, little girl. You do not want to piss me off. So, where were we? Well, I was about to ask if you'd seen her here in the last few days. Mm, nope. But she does look like a fine piece of ass. Okay, well, that's my daughter. Ooh. Never had a mother-daughter tag team before. I bet you guys would be so... Oh! Oh! Fucking bitch! I think we've got our girl. This is my daughter. She's missing. I would appreciate if you'd each take a look at the picture and tell me if you've seen her. going on in here? I'm just looking for my daughter, Sheriff. Perhaps you've seen her. Damn boy. You look worse than that. The prior boys kicked your ass. She did this to me. I want her fucking arrested. I'm sure you do. But first go have that looked at. But don't butt me, boy. Do as I tell you. Pay for this. You do this to him? I did. Are you some kind of James Bond girl or something? 
Now, how many of you all saw this happen? But that about does it. I'm gonna have to place you under arrest. I understand. I don't have to cuff you, do I? No, you don't. You try that crap with me, I'll just shoot you. You understand what I'm saying? I do. Let's go. Is that your car over there? It is. Mind if I look it over? You got a warrant? I was trying to be polite. This is my town. I don't need no damn warrant to do anything in my town. The judge is a good friend of mine. You get my meaning, honey? Perfectly. You tie the ass over by my car and stay put while I search yours. Now! Why would a pretty little thing like you be carrying two handguns with it? You never know what kind of animals you're gonna run into out here. That's a damn good answer. But I don't buy it for a second. These guns aren't for killing animals. They're for killing people. The thought never occurred to me. You know what I think? I think you're lying to me. I got a license for both of those. I'll be checking that out directly. Now get in the car, let's go. You just relax while I have you checked out. Jason. The crow has landed. You're referring to the mother, of course. <laughs> That's right. I think she's gonna be a good one. She already tore the hell out of some redneck over to Briar Patch today. Oh, that is so exciting. Where is she now? Got her here in the jail cell. Well, I'd like you to check her out and see what you can find. I was just about to do that. Good, good, good. Make sure you let me know what you find out. You know I will. Uh, thank you, Greg. You know, I think you just may have made my day. <laughs> <laughs> no guesswork with this one. No need for a full autopsy, really. No, don't bother. It's more than obvious what killed this boy. Question is, what happened to the girl? That's your area of expertise, not mine. But I do hope you find her. Well, we'll do all we can. I'm sure the sheriff will be all over it. You're right. Like he's not already. What do you mean? You don't know? No. Really? Tracy, I have no idea what you're talking about, but I would really appreciate you telling me. If you repeat anything I say, I'll deny it. Okay. I think our sheriff has something to do with all the killings and disappearances that have been going on around here. Look, I don't want to talk. I know I can't prove it, but I can feel it. Ever since my husband disappeared. Listen, Tracy, you have to learn to let go of that for your own good. <laughs> really? Is that what you would do, just let go of it? While McLean smiles in your face like he knows something more than he's telling? I don't think so. Listen, I understand how you feel, but you have to let go. Don't treat me like a child, Deborah. Okay, then I'll treat it like a cop. You've given me absolutely nothing to go on. What do you expect I can do with that? I don't know. Be a cop. 
Look into it. Keep an open mind about it. You're bound to find something sooner or later, and if you don't, what's it going to hurt? You've got a boy with his throat cut, and a woman and her daughter out there somewhere facing the same fate. Don't let it happen, Deborah. Don't let it happen. Okay. Okay. I'll do all I can, but no promises. Hello, Frankie. Who's the lens editor? You know why you're here, right? Not exactly, boss. Let's not play with each other, Frankie. We're both grown-ups, we're both busy men, right? Sure, sure, but I, I don't know why you boys had to come over to my place and drag me out of it. If you wanted to talk to me, all you had to do was send a message. I'd have been here Ricky Tick. Hmm. I didn't want you to know I wanted to talk to you. I wanted our meeting to be more, you know, spontaneous. <laughs> what do I know from spontaneous? Where it is you're working for the feds. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't do nothing like that, Mr. Lance. said I'd have to be out of my bird. You know I, mean? I swear to you, nothing like that happened. I, I, I swear it. Do you see anything on my face that makes you think I'm stupid? No. No, of course not, Mr. Lance. said I'd never say nothing like that about you. You'll have to excuse me, Frankie, but if you're wearing a wire, I don't want you talking anymore. Check him. <laughs> Frankie, Frankie, Frankie. What am I going to do with you? I didn't tell him nothing about you, Mr. Lancet. I honestly swear it. Where's the recorder? I wasn't gonna give him nothing on you! Where's the recorder? Frankie. Cut his tongue out. You got it. You did. Shove it up his ass and dump it in the East River. Right. Come on, Frankie. Well, take a little ride. Miss Montreal, how wonderful it is to see you. It's always wonderful to see you, too. Can uh, you spare a moment of your time? For a woman like you, I could spare a lifetime. <laughs> You're such a flirt. That's what they say. Have a seat. Thank you. Now, what can I do for you, Miss Montreal? Call me Cynthia, please. And I'm not here to ask anything of you. I'm here to give you something. I like the sound of that. Now, don't you start again. This is strictly business. Well, you asked me to keep an eye out for a possible place to uh, store your, shall we say, extra inventory. 
That would be cool. It's out in the country, and it's perfect. You would have the whole town on your side. Mm. I'm not so sure I like the sound of that. I don't want to involve too many people. No. I don't mean the townspeople, Mr. Linsetta. I mean the mayor and the sheriff. The mayor and the sheriff? Sounds interesting. Arrange a meeting. I don't think that'll be a problem at all. That's good, because I don't like problems. Not at all. Don't worry about it. I'll set it up and get back to you as soon as possible. Cynthia. Yes? If this all works out to my satisfaction, you will be handsomely rewarded. But if it all goes bad, you know what I'll have to do, right? I understand. We'll get back to you shortly. I'll be counting the moments. Find anything? Sure did. Then some. Listen to this. Woman spent several years with the Australian SAS. Then worked as a freelance mercenary, both the Australian and U.S. governments. Is that right? On retired, take care of her daughter after her husband was killed. No serious injuries or anything like that. Ooh, sounds like we hit the jackpot. Damn sure does. You know what to do. Oh, I sure do. I'll see you. Well, boy down to the briar patch decided not to press charges. Let you go. What about my property? You mean the guns? Of course. Gonna have to stay here with me. I have time to check them out. Make sure they haven't been using any major crimes or anything. Right. Well, you have a nice day, Miss Maurice. Car's out front. I had it towed over here for you. You get a bill for that, of course. You have a nice day too, Sheriff. Oh, I'm going to. you. I'm thinking your next boyfriend. <laughs> Get in the car. You want to see your daughter, don't you? Why at gunpoint? Just my way of doing things. Supposed to respond to that? Only well, if you want to stop off somewhere for a little something, something. I think I'll pass. Can't blame a guy for trying. So, maybe. Yeah, figures. Sherry! Oh. Oh. Literally in the morning for that, eh, Bruiser? Ain't never too early for me, partner. Let's go. Oh my god, these people are crazy. They killed. 
killed Brian and he tried to kill me. What? What happened? I stepped in a trap. I think it's broken. Oh, this is bad. We need to get you some help. I wouldn't worry about that, Miss DeVries. DeVries. Who are you people? That's not important. What's important is who you are, Victoria DeVries. Or should I say, Special Agent DeVries. Oh, please, don't look so stunned. We know who you are. You've got a very impressive resume. One would only hope that your talents are as good as they're purported to be. She looks like the real thing to me. She does, doesn't she? What the hell are you talking about? You see, all of us, we belong to a, how can I put this, hunting club. But instead of hunting dumb little animals, we prefer to hunt people. Exactly. I see you've heard of our little sport. Have you partaken? No, but I have met other sick fucks like you in my lifetime. You get the smell of blood in your mouth, and you can't let go of it. Did she just call us sick fucks? Well, that would be an accurate description, yes. And you, the sheriff of this town, you're a part of this. Let's just say I tasted that blood too. If you let my daughter go, I'll play your game with you. Oh, I'm afraid. That's too late. You see, we've only kept her alive this long to get you here. And you're here. We don't need her now. No, I swear. I'll do anything you want. Anything. I'm sure you will. But you will do it with much more enthusiasm after this. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to do that. Oh, all in good time, my sweet. All in good time. Okay, so let's go on the hunt. Not now, no. We have important business to take care of. What kind of business? Business! will kill every last one of you. You know that, don't you? Oh, we hope you will try. <laughs> but now, I would get some rest. We start at dawn. Don't worry. I will make your death especially painful. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Matthews, Boozer, take care of the body and tie up our little Miss Victoria here. You heard the man. Let's go. I don't think we should do business with these kind of guys. Look, you want to make the big bucks? You gotta play with the big boys, Matthews. <laughs> yeah, if you say so. Yeah, I say so. Now listen, you're only here because somebody like him doesn't come alone. He has people with him. Now do me a favor. Stand here, say nothing, do nothing. Just be my muscle. You understand? I got it.
search us. Boat. This one. You like that, don't you? Mr. Lanzetta, it is a hot day today. Let's take a walk. So my associates tell me this is a perfect place to, how should I say, keep certain things away from crying eyes. It certainly is. I bought up five old farms, which have large barns on them. We can put anything there. Mm -hmm. This is not anything you speak of. Of course, uh, of course, I'm sorry. It's a very valuable commodity. And you can guarantee the safety of my property? Yes, I can. I can that. <laughs> and if I decide to trust you, how much will the service cost me? I was thinking 10% of the value of said commodity. That is out of the question. The going rate for such a service is no more than 4%. 4%? <laughs> For four percent, I, I don't think I want to take the risk for that amount of money. From what I understand, you're a man who takes so many risks. But why should one little business arrangement be any different? Yeah, you, you're right. However, four percent, I'm sorry, four percent just, it doesn't cut it. For the sake of starting a long-term relationship, I will go up to five percent, but I can do no more. Five percent? take that. I don't need your acceptance. Just do what you promise. Because if you fail, there won't be enough trees for you or your family to hide behind that, even in the fucking jungle. Do you understand? I understand. I understand completely. All right. One more thing. I understand that you have a certain proclivity to partake in a form of entertainment. It gets quite bloody. Yes, but I assure you... Don't bother to explain. I understand such things. We are both men of unique and above average needs. I understand that perfectly. I only have one thing to say about it, and I will never speak of it again. Never let it interfere or bring attention to our business. Do you understand? Of course. Of course. Good. Let's get back. It's too hot. It's long out of the city. Nice ring you got there. I'll let you have it if you let me go. You'll let me have it. <laughs> I'll cut your damn finger off if I want it bad enough. Hell. I might even do it for the fun of it. Can I have a shot of that? I'll give you a shot, all right? You don't shut your mouth. Tell you what, you give me what's left in that bottle, and I'll give you this ring. No fess, no muss. No. Probably ain't real gold anyway. Yes, it is. All right. But don't you be giving me any problems, because I'll mess you up, bitch. You follow? Give me the damn thing.
still haven't told me how things went. <laughs> ah, forgive me, my dear. I was so taken by your beauty, I forgot all of my business for a moment. I don't think a man such as yourself ever forgets about business. You're a small woman, Cynthia. A very small woman. I think things will go well in my business with Mac and Dale. Did really well, thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. You sure it's a good idea, boss, to get involved with these dumb, stupid ass rednecks? Blacks, Russians, rednecks. What the hell's the difference? As long as their money's green. Besides, that man doesn't have big enough balls to cross me. What if he does? Then we'll send his teenage daughter to him in little pieces. After that, I'll burn down his whole damn town. He's not so trusting as you and I. Just looking out for your distance, that's all. Yeah. But enough business for now. Let's enjoy the afternoon. Yes, of course. What can I do for you today? Well, I just stopped in to see what you thought about that body we fished out of the lake. His throat was cut. What else do you want to know? Eh, usual things. Any identifying marks, anything like that there? I would think you already know who he is. Now, what do you mean by that? Exactly. I think you know precisely what I mean. I don't think I care for your tone, Doctor. You see, we do things around here in a certain kind of way. And we don't like those who try to get in the way of what we do. Am I getting through to you at all? Because if you got anything to say, just say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth shut and let sleeping dogs lie. Because if you don't, We understand each other? Yes. You sure? Perfectly. Good. Well, it was nice talking to you, Doctor. You have a nice day now. You know, you're looking pretty good there, Doc. How about you and I going out for dinner tonight? No, thank you. That's too bad. Hmm. If you change your mind, just let me know. People like to hunt people. Well, now you've got to hunt. You're a dead whore. I'm gonna cut your throat, and you're gonna bleed out real slow, just like I did to your little girl's boyfriend. Ah! I'll be out at the woods by the lake at dawn. You be there with your friends. I'll get every last one of you, but you'll be the first. You understand? I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> you are one sick bitch.
Tomorrow will be a very interesting day, my friend. I believe it will be. We do, however, have a bit of problem with someone. Oh, who's that? Dr. Lind. She suspects something. <sighs> How can you tell? I've been a cop for a long time, I can tell. Right, of course. Uh, is it serious, this thing with the doctor? It could get that way. <sighs> we'll have to take care of it. What the hell are you doing here? It's Boozer. He's dead. What happened? Found him in the barn. Neck snapped. And guess what? Our little lady friend, she's on the run. Really? Really. <laughs> Gloria. My God, it, what happened? Are you all right? Oh, she came by the house. I think she broke my damn nose. Who, the Rise woman? Of course, who the hell do you think I'd be talking about? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I think you need to have the doctor look at that. That's okay. It's okay. I just thought you should know she said to meet her in the woods by the lake at dawn. And if we don't, she's gonna hunt us down one by one. Kill us all. She said that. Looks like my new girlfriend's got a set of balls. She won't happen for long. I think it's about time I rang a friend of mine. What are you talking about? I have a friend. He's uh, an expert. He always gets his man. Or in this case, woman. We don't need any help. I'm going to kill the bitch myself. Don't look at it as help. Just look at it as backup. As long as he stays out of my way. Take Matthews. Go and take care of that little problem we discussed earlier. Right. Now, we'll all meet back here about an hour before sunrise. See that? God. Deputy Deborah Goodrich, please. I see. Could you ask her to call me as soon as she gets in? Dr. Tracy Lynn at the clinic. She has a number. Yes, thank you. Going somewhere, doctor? What do you want? Well, I was just driving by and saw that your light was too long. Thought I'd stop in. See if you reconsidered having dinner with me. Are you serious? Actually, no. What I really wanted to see was if you were in the swing. Swinging? Yeah, swinging. You know, back and forth. I don't understand. That's okay. You will. Matthews! Hey, boss. Look what I found. You should have just had dinner with me, darling.
Listen up, people. This here is Joe Mangine. He's here to help us. That's Major Mangine. Of course it is. This is Major Mangine. He's here to help us find and kill our prey. McLean, Gloria, Matthews. We don't need any help. You don't think so? I know so. I've read this woman's file, Mr. Matthews. Have you? Now, why would I do that and spoil all the fun? That would explain your ignorance, wouldn't it? He just called me stupid? No, not at all. I'm simply saying you don't have all the facts. This woman, Victoria DeVries, has quite a remarkable record in the intelligence business. She's performed missions all over the world and never failed. Are we supposed to be impressed by this? No. We're supposed to see it for what it is and use it. Understanding her is the key to killing her. Well, I'll tell you what, Major. You get to know her. And I'll get to kill her. And I hope it's me. What you people are failing to recognize is that this woman possesses a skill set that's far superior to anything you've dealt with before. You're talking like we don't have a chance against this woman. What I'm saying is, is that you'll be lucky to last long enough just to get the chance to kill her. But not to worry. I'm here to change those odds. You? Yeah, me. I've done everything she's done and more. I've been taught everything she's been taught. I would say that levels the playing field. And by the way, my fee stays the same no matter who makes the kill, understood? Of course. Fee, you're paying him? Of course he's paying me for this. You people might do this for fun. I do it for a living. Anybody got a problem with that? I can leave right now. Okay then, if we're gonna do this, we better get going. It's almost dawn. You heard the Major. You got any more of them bear traps? You bet I do. Good. She's got a sense of humor. See the arrow? It says to go that way. So let's go get her. It's a trick. That's right. She points one way so that we'll think she set a trap and go the other way. But we're not gonna do that. What the hell sense does that make? I'll show you. You see that? If we went the opposite way, one of you would have this sticking out of their chest right now. Told you it was good. I don't care about that. I just want to cut her throat. Where well, there's one of these, there's more. It's spread out now, everybody. My guess is she's going to be close. Tracy? 
out, sweetheart. I can smell you. I'm right here. Never, ever stand up with. It's gonna be a lot easier killing you than I thought. Really? Really. Say goodbye. Goodbye. What the hell was that? That's Matthew's gun. He got her! <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. Just hold on a sec. Let's see what else we can hear. What's the matter? You've got nothing to say to me. I suppose you want me to take this gun and shoot you in the head and put you out of your misery. Yes? Matthews. Forget him. He's dead. And we're gonna be too if we don't get going. Let's go. Shoot me. I dare you. Not a chance. Had it with this crap. I'm gonna go after her alone. Doesn't sound like a good idea to me. I'm not you, am I? No, you're not. But I'm just trying to tell you. But the whole thing. Look, it's... don't try and stop me. Because you can't. There's something I've got to do. You sure about this? I'm gonna be okay. What the hell is she doing? Only what she has to. Well, it looks like your other guy had the same bright idea. Ah, oh, crap. They're making big mistakes. The both of them. Yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. Sooner rather than later. You got that right. Let's go. Try and cut my throat now, little girl. It would be my pleasure. What's the matter? Not fast enough? Come on.
Gloria. Gloria. Can you hear me, Gloria? McQueen. Matthews, is anybody out there? God damn it. Something is wrong. These things have a radius of two miles. Oh, I hate to tell buddy. Don't say it, okay? Just don't say it. Look, I have to think she is still alive. Yeah, but you know... No! Not... <sighs> no, just don't say it. Just help me find her, all right? Okay. I look okay? Stupid question. <laughs> Can you walk? No. Not right now. Look, I'm, I'm gonna have to go. I gotta find Gloria. It's understood. Keep your eyes open. She's not done yet. Thanks, buddy. Victoria? Well, well. Joe Manji. Been a long time. Been a very long time. Since that thing in the Middle East. What the hell are you doing here with these people? Man's gotta make a living. It's not much of a way to make a living. Well, it's worked for me up till now. Let's get to it. Pick your poison. Oh! 
no, 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 baby, you weren't supposed to die, no, not like this, not here, no, God. <sighs> cause all this trouble? You made a bad mistake. Now you're gonna die just like your stupid fucking daughter. Just do it. My pleasure. Hold it right there, Sheriff. It's not a good time, Deputy. Toss the shotgun. Why don't you go back to the office? We'll talk about this later. Toss the shotgun, Sheriff, and don't think I won't shoot. You're making a big mistake. I've made them before. Now drop it. You know how many people this woman's killed, do you? I'm thinking she probably had a real good reason. Really? That's what you're thinking? You stupid bitch! I must be. I was actually attracted to you once. How bad is it? Bolts black. All done. They killed my daughter. <laughs> Don't listen to her, Jibber. She's a damn killer. Don't listen to her. Really? I'm gonna go to the car and call for backup. You've got about five minutes. What are you doing? Only what's right. You can't do it. It's murder. You can't do it. No, it's not. It's justice. Uh, 
I'll finish you in hell, bitch. You don't have the balls to make me that. 